Alrighty people, it is now time for your NXT review. Um pretty good show guys, pretty good show, pretty awesome. It's good to see Eva, Eva Marie compete in the ring finally. Show starts off with Finn Baller coming out. Um he he cut a really good freaking promo actually. The promo's pretty good. Um talking about his match with Owens at NXT TakeOver. Um, I think that's going to be a good freaking match, to be honest. Um, then um, they, they announced that Owens will have a contract signing with Finn Balor that night. Um, pretty good how he um, came out and said a few words about defending his title, basically. And him winning the title in Japan, basically. Uh, first match, Eva Marie... Defeated Casey Casty. Pretty good match. Pretty good to see Eva Marie. Eva Marie win a match because that shows that she proved every single freaking diva wrong in the locker room. So once Eva wins that title at NXT, those divas can go suck on it. Well, not all of them. Some of them that said that she, that she sucked at wrestling. Basically, when she wins a title one day, you'll find out. You'll see how Eva Marie really is, actually. Basically, but no offense, actually, but. My opinion. My opinion. Don't get mad at me. Second match. Barbin Corbin won a squash, ma squash match in like 10 seconds. This guy's like a badass wrestler. This guy's going to be perfect for the main roster one day. Once wrestling gets better, once wrestling is better in the future, when Vince retires or Cena retires, this is the kind of wrestling we're going to get. We're going to get this guy. This guy is awesome as heck. I like this wrestler, to be honest. In NXT. Third match, Samoan Joe defeated Mike Rallis. Samoan Joe's a badass wrestler. He's the best wrestler ever. He he is really good. He's talented. I, I cannot wait to see his ass move up to the main roster. I can't wait for that day to come. Because Samoan Joe is gonna put on a phenomenal matches. As, as long as um as long as long as Superman Cena doesn't bury him, then we're fine. But if Superman Cena buries him, I'm gonna hate John Cena's guts. Really Really big time, I will. If John Cena d does bury Samoa Joe one day, I will be pissed off totally. But, um, yeah, great match. Fourth match, Bailey defeated Emma. Um, pretty decent match, basically. Uh, yeah, basically pretty decent. Fifth match, the Van Dillians defeated Angelo Dawkins and Saur Fudin. I can't pronounce some of these guys' names, to be honest. They're pretty tough to pronounce, basically. But this was a good match. It's better that we get we get better tag teams in NXT than we get in WWE. Like, Blake and Murphy, good tag team. This team right now that, were, that was in this match I announced, great tag teams. I like these tag teams in NXT. They're really freaking good. But in WWE, we get shitty tag teams. Like, the freaking New Day. Uh... The Lost Man Doris, pretty much jobbers. We get El Torio, Hornswoggle, all jobbers, basically. NXT, you don't get that much jobbers at all, to be honest. Then Kevin Owens has a contract signing, and then he, like, flips the table, flips over the table. Um, then he, like, punches Regal in the face or knocks him down, basically. Then him, then Owens and um, Finn Balor have a brawl. They're having a big-ass brawl. Then finally, Baller wins the wins the brawl actually, and then they have a match coming up at NXT Takeover. So this show turned out to be awesome. Later, and peace out, guys.